Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Today I am moving out of this house and moving into my brand new one. So right now I am currently taking all my stuff over to my house right now. I got the shark puppet. Oh hello man. All my clothes right here. No! My Torg merch t-shirt fell on the ground. Wait, you guys should definitely go buy some TORG merch because I just spent all my money on my house, so I need some support from you guys. Now, I got this boxing glove right here. To use as self-defense inside of my house so I am safe and protected. protected. I mean, look how badly this thing hurts. Oh, that hurts. Now it is time to take all my clothes and stuff to the brand new house. But first, this is actually going to be a super sad day, guys. Because I'm moving out of this house. And, like, I live with my brothers and stuff. And I'm moving out to live all by myself. So I'm going to go tell my brothers that I am officially leaving. And this is probably going to be a very sad moment for them. Let's go find them. I'm pretty sure they're out back. So I started searching around for my brothers. Looking everywhere, trying to find them. But I couldn't find them anywhere. Two thousand years later. All right, so I finally found my brothers. They're right here. And guys, unfortunately, I have to break some very sad news to you today. As of today, I am moving into my brand new house, which means I will no longer be living with you guys anymore. This is the best day of my life. I'm going to go start taking your room. This is the best day of my life. Wait, I thought they would be sad. They weren't sad at all. A few moments later. All right, it's now time to say goodbye to this house. Which, by the way, guys, we'll still film YouTube videos here and stuff. But I'm just no longer going to live here personally anymore. So goodbye, house. <coughs> All right, we will see you guys whenever we arrive at the new house. So I drove over to the brand new house. Then I got out of my car and started grabbing my clothes out of the back of my car. And then I headed inside. All right, welcome to the new house, guys. Now, I know I did a little bit of a tour of this house, but some things have changed. We have these beautiful, luxurious theater chairs inside the house now. And then right over here, we have this couch, which is also my bed for now. Now, the house is still under construction, so I'll do a full tour whenever it's actually completely done. It just needs some simple things like carpet in here, and then there's still some construction going on in the other rooms. Like, as you can see right here in the dining room, it is full of all kinds of work stuff. Look, these clothes are super heavy. I need to put them in my closet. <laughs> Oh yeah, my bedroom's under construction right now too. <laughs> Now I'm officially moved in, and it's like literally all you need to live. You don't need food or anything. You stupid. All right, but for real, that's going to wrap up today's beginning part of the video. I know it was super short, but I just wanted to show you guys that I am now officially moved out of the other house and moved into this one. And I'll give you guys a full tour of it whenever we're completely done with construction. But yeah, I'm going to sit down on these theater chairs and take a nap. So uh, peace out until today's main part of the video. Goodbye. The next day. Yo, what is up, Tory fam? And welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, what we're going to be doing right now is actually going to be pretty interesting because we don't remember in our last video right here, we actually captured Sonic the Hedgehog in real life. And I got him inside of this cage right here. And like I said, we're going to be opening him up in today's video. Because if you don't remember, whenever we did capture him, we actually found a note with Sonic that said that it was from Knuckles, which Knuckles is like this character up on the screen right here from Sonic the Hedgehog. And Knuckle told us on that note that we need to open up Sonic. So I'm not quite sure why Knuckles wants us to open up Sonic, but I guess we're about to find out. Because in the comment section down below, you guys told me that I actually should open up Sonic because I asked you guys before I did so. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing right now. I have absolutely no idea what to expect whenever we open him. Like, I don't know if there's going to be something inside of him or what is going to happen, but we're about to find out. Now, I need to figure out how to get Sonic out of this trap because this thing looks super complicated and I don't know how it works. I think this thing goes like this and that goes like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Two hours later. I think I figured out how the trap works. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. Now we can get Sonic out of here. All right, there he is. Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, so I guess it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is now time to open him up to see why Knuckles wanted us to. Now, opening up Sonic shouldn't hurt him at all because we've done this in the past with other characters and they've been perfectly fine. So I'm gonna use my super manly muscles right now to try to open Sonic and like rip him apart. Here goes nothing in three, two, one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. I think I lost some of my manly muscle during the coronavirus stuff. I haven't been to the gym in like three months now. Rest in peace, muscles. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. 
All right, so since my muscles aren't manly enough, I bet Rex is strong enough to open up Sonic. So Rex, try to open up Sonic for me. Okay. So it is Rex, the punching dummy, versus Sonic the Hedgehog from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Let's see if Rex can demolish Sonic and open him up for us. Here goes nothing. Let's see what you got, Rex. <laughs> All right, let's see if you opened him up. The moment of truth. Man! Rex, you're a disappointment. You didn't even open up Sonic. I thought you were stronger than that. Rex, you need to hit the gym more often so you can start helping me more. I bet I'm more manly than you. Remind me to never fight Rex again. A few moments later. Alright, so I'm gonna use this mini bike now to help us to try to open up Sonic. Now my genius, epic, indestructible plan idea is to drive the mini bike super fast and then throw Sonic off while I'm driving super fast and hopefully the impact of Sonic hitting the ground after coming from a super fast speed will open him up. Now I got this helmet right here to make sure we are safe and protected. Protected. Let's just put this on real quick. Uh, guys, I can't see anything. Where am I? Hello? Hello? Um, Torg, you have the helmet on backwards. Oh, wait. Wow, I probably look stupid for a second. <laughs> so I grabbed the mini bike and attempted to start it up real quick. First try! First try. So I started driving super fast and then I threw Sonic to the ground as hard as I could. Now that's a lot of damage. No! a lot of damage. Okay, hopefully this works. And here goes nothing, the moment of truth. Did the mini bike trick work? Well, according to my calculations and observations, it unfortunately did not open up Sonic. Dang it. Dang it. I 100% thought that would work. But I'm literally all out of ideas now. I have absolutely no idea how to open up Sonic anymore. Torg, why don't you just like use this knife right here to open him? Wait a minute. You had a knife that whole time? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take it. All right, here goes nothing. It is now time for real to open up Sonic. Have this blade right here. I will 100% do the trick. Now, warning, do not use one of these knives at home because they are super dangerous and you can like get very hurt by them. But we're trained professionals and know exactly what we are doing. Why you always lying? So I grab Sonic in my knife and then put on these super epic sunglasses and got prepared to open him up. Okay, here goes nothing. We're gonna go through right here. And it shouldn't hurt him at all, but we'll be able to find out why Knuckles wanted us to open him up. So here we go. Okay, yo, it worked. No way. Sonic is now opened up. This is exactly what Knuckles wanted us to do. So far, I'm not understanding why Knuckles wanted us to open him up because I'm not seeing anything yet. I don't know, let's look around to see if there's anything inside of him. Okay, so far I'm not seeing anything. Wait, guys, I feel something inside. I'm gonna try to dig it out of him. What is this? This must be what Knuckles was talking about, why he wanted us to open him up. Yo. Guys, look at this. This was literally just inside of Sonic. This must be why Knuckles wanted us to open him up to find this. It's a piece of paper, but it's all folded up. Let's unfold it to see what it is. Okay, so far it just looks like a blank piece of paper. No way! Look! It's a no! So wait, there was literally a no just inside of Sonic! And this must be why Knuckles wanted us to open him up so we could find this! Let's read it to see what it says on it! It says, I have Amy Rose. Give me Tails and I'll let her go. Signed, Knuckles. Say what? Say what? Knuckles is saying that he has Amy Rose, and Amy Rose is this character up on the screen right here from Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm pretty sure that Amy Rose is the person that Sonic likes in the TV show. And Knuckles is literally saying that he has her, and that he won't let her go unless if we give him Tails. Now, I don't know what we're supposed to do, because Knuckles wants Tails, but if you don't remember, Tails actually escaped. So we don't even have Tails anymore, so we can't even give Tails to Knuckles. So what are we supposed to do? Should we try to capture Knuckles, or should we try to capture Tails? Because if we capture Tails, then we can give Tails to Knuckles and then Knuckles says that he will let Amy Rose go or should we just try to find Amy Rose and capture her from Knuckles I don't know guys make sure you go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what it is you think it is we should do and we might just do it in our next video because I'm really clueless right now this doesn't even make sense to me I'm guessing that Knuckles didn't actually want Sonic in the first place and instead he wanted Tails for some reason but he must have not have been able to capture Tails and now he's telling us to give him Tails and he'll let Amy Rose go because apparently he has her captured and so I don't know why 
why Knuckles would want Tails. But I guess that's why he wanted us to open Sonic up is to find this note telling us that he wants us to give him Tails because he has Amy Rose and won't let her go until he has Tails. So I don't know, guys. This is super crazy. I personally think we should probably try to capture Knuckles or at least try to find Amy Rose. That way, Tails and Sonic are free and we don't give any of them to Knuckles. Because I don't know why Knuckles would want Tails and stuff. It just doesn't make any sense. So I think our best decision is to try to capture Knuckles. That way, Amy Rose is free. But yeah, anyways, I don't know, guys. I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. Again, we just opened up Sonic and found this note inside of him. And I'm assuming this is exactly why Knuckles told us to open him up. But I guess that's seriously gonna end the video because I don't know what else to do. Until again, you guys let us know what to do in the comment section down below. But if you guys are brand new and you enjoyed anything that you watched in today's video, please go absolutely destroy that subscribe button and ding that notification bell as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys do both of those things, that'll ensure that you guys do not miss any of our future videos. And they're gonna be like super crazy and stuff, so you guys definitely don't wanna miss them. Also, don't forget to go check out all my social media, like my Instagram and my Snapchat, at T-O-R-G fam. And my Instagram is at official tour. Also, my vlog channel is linked in the description down below if you guys wanna go watch my vlogs to get more updates on the house and stuff in the future. And just like my day-to-day -day life. But yeah, I will see you guys next time on a brand new video with T-O-R-G, aka that one random ginger. Peace out. Not again! Can't see anything!